Here we are. my hair. <laughs> I'm James. And I'm Emily. And we show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. But most importantly, don't forget to get ready. Set. Keto. So, <laughs> it's not Friday. I know. I want to say happy Friday. It's not Friday at all. I wish it was Friday. <laughs> it, it, it makes me think that when we do this, that... We're supposed to go out and do something later. I know. Because it's Friday. Not but, happening. But it's Thursday. Yeah. So, no. All I get to do is... The dog's going to eat now. <laughs> all I get to do is get ready for bed. Yeah. Did you already do your workout? Yes. I did my workout immediately. And it is happy Groundhog Day. You love Groundhog Day. I do. <laughs> I do. Is I, he the only person that loves it? I love Groundhog Day. Him and Noah both love Groundhog Day. We do. And unfortunately, he uh, he's seen his shadow. Yeah. Which, there's a plus and a minus. The last time, right. at least I'm pretty sure, the last time that he didn't see his shadow and we had an early spring yeah. was February of 2020. And we know how that spring turned out. <laughs> that was a bad spring. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so oh. happy ground hog day <laughs> all right so yeah we just ate dinner we did and, and i'm so full i'm stuffed because james sprung something up spur the moment with me again which he likes to do that for some reason so we are doing omad because okay. We've never did it. Let's step back a minute. He called me at work this morning. It was late morning. Mm -hmm. He calls me and I'm busy. And I thought it might be important, but he said, all right, it's a new month. And I really want to do OMAD. I said, we have to talk about this later. <laughs> I don't know. And I said, no, I'm doing OMAD and you don't have to if you don't want to. But... <laughs> So, yeah, I want to do OMAD because I have never did OMAD. You've I, never done OMAD? I've never done one meal a day. Never yeah. have. Yeah. Never have I ever. I mean, I've done it by mistake. Yeah, just being busy. And yeah, just, just, be, just being busy and having one meal. Yeah. So anyway, what brought it on was, is last night I ate like a, a pound lot. and a half of steak. Yeah. Okay, so since I started working out... I smoked some New York strips yesterday. That's bad for you. And they were so good. And they were some big steaks. I mean big, like like that thick. Yeah, so he and ate his in like almost half of mine. Because I've been so hungry since I started working out. Mm -hmm. Like like starving. Right. So anyway, I ate that and when I woke up this morning, I ate so much last night that when I woke up this morning I was still full. Yeah, he felt really good. I did. I felt good. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to eat the lunch that I brought. Yeah. So, yes, I didn't eat the lunch. And I was like, we can do this. Let's do OMAD all month. So, tonight, well, anyway, that, that solves a couple problems. So, I have a problem snacking. Uh-huh. Which we all know that. And I have a problem being hungry. Hang on a minute. I got to get Noah to get the birds. Hey, right. Noah! Will you come and get the birds, please? So... He will take them upstairs and they will be quiet. Yeah. So, he has a hard time with snacking. And he's been more hungry since he's been lifting weights. Starving. So, he decided, since he ate so much last night and felt so good today, that maybe he should do OMAD or try yes. it. I'm, Unofficially, officially I'm going to, challenging himself. I'm not trying it. I'm going to do it. Okay. We'll see. Because I was thinking, <laughs> am I going to limit cheese or am I going to limit this or that? Right. And I can do it. And we just did the macros for what I ate. Yes. I can do it. Yeah. Like all at one time, I can just sit down yeah. and eat all, all the things that I need at one time. Which right. for the first time in a, a year and a half, I'm actually going to do... 23 hour fasting. Yeah, that is a first for you. 23 hour fasting. So we're going to see how I feel. Yeah. 
Now, I was hesitant to say, okay, I'll do it with you, but I'll try because I know me and I know I have a hard time eating enough in one sitting. And so I did my macros with the food I just ate. And it's a little bit under than where I'd like to be, but it was close enough. So I think if I plan and try to do as close to OMAD as I can, I'm willing to be supportive and try to do it with them. And I hope I really like it because the, now I don't have to pack lunch. Yeah. I can just go to work and not worry about it. Right. Right. So this doesn't give me an option to snack. So yeah. it's a challenge for me. Yeah. And he's able to eat enough in one sitting. I can eat it. You're enough. definitely able to. Yes. I had a I had a Jimmy John's Unwich. Which is a lot. Yes. And then I had two pieces of bacon. And, and a six ounce burger. I did not eat that much. <laughs> so, Lady Fritz Sater says, add in some extra eggs to get the macros up. Yes. Well, the good thing I'm is... I'm going to definitely have to do that. The good thing is, is I didn't have to do that. And good thing is, I like eggs. <laughs> so, that'll be, that'll help me for sure. But I'll try. I'm not committing 100% to that, but I will try... Where I've been narrowing in my eating window the past few weeks, I have not this week so far, but that wasn't too hard to do. Um, so maybe I can do the OMAD with you. He says that he was trying to do two meals a day, but with his MS, he feels better with three meals a day. Yep. Everyone's going to be different. Yep. And day one in the books, Yeah. I feel fine. Yep. I'm proud and of you, actually, because he's never been the least bit willing to try to do a longer fast like that. Well, also, I have just been taking lunches and things like that. And right. like, I'm not packing enough food. That's definitely your problem. So when I come home, that's why I snack because I'm starving. Right. And now that I'm working out, I don't know how much to make. But I know that if I'm home, if I eat, and he I'm knows still I'll track his macros and if, tell him to eat one. <laughs> if I eat when I, you know, for dinner. Right. And I'm still hungry. I will just eat. Yeah. I have food. I don't have to worry about it. I right. Can, I think I can get all meals in in one. You'll try. No try. Do. <laughs> <laughs> do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's say hi. Right. I know. I know we're behind, but Keto Simple's here. Hi. 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 Uncle Big Guy. Uncle Big Guy. Howdy. Julie is here. Hi, Julie. Joe Dale Fields is here. Joe Dale. She says, hello, hello. Let's, Let's go, go keto. keto. <laughs> Vicky's here. Hi, Vicky. Sana is here. <laughs> we were calling her Santa. And then I watched her video. She does have videos on her channel. Yes. Which she just started recently. So Yes, and we've been saying it wrong, and I'm sorry. And I heard her say her name. Yep. And now it is... If Correctly I, if pronounced. I'm not, if I'm not perfect in saying Sana, I'm pretty close. I'm closer than... <laughs> I'm closer than Santa. <laughs> Cindy's here. Semi-retired Bob is here. Hello, hello. From a soggy North Carolina. A soggy North Carolina. Oh, boy. Ugh. 22 Q cats here. Hi. Sherry's here. Rick one's here. Hello, hello. Oh. Sherry Watkins is here. She Hi, says, Sherry. hope you're all doing good. It's cold in Middle Tennessee. 32 it, right now. It got up to about 40 here today. Which, it did? Yeah. I never felt it get that way. <laughs> it did. Dustin says it's hopping in here. Yeah. I was telling oh. James before we got on here that I'm waiting for the day that we are live or recording in this bench that we sit on breaks. And I said. And I would laugh at me too if that happened. So it's okay if you laugh. <laughs> We're down, we're down over 180 pounds. Between the two of us? Between the two of us. If it was going to break, it would have done broke. Because <laughs> we, we used to sit on it before. Right. <laughs> Bob from Ageless Keto. Hi, here. Bob. <laughs> Brenda is loving this Thursday Live. Thank you. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Cynthia. Cynthia's Hi, John. John. I'm going to say it wrong, but I, John Gugahan. I know it's wrong, but I'm still going to say it. I believe it's Gagan. I know. <laughs> Guga, Guga hand? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. 
Well, how do you how do you say the uh, N1 Uno 1965? Just like that. Just like that. Yep, from Leavenworth, Kansas. Marbear is Mar here. Marbear. Mm -hmm. All right. Deb Riley's here. Says hi to everyone. Did you say hi to Heath and Shauna? I I said what he said about the. Well, hi, 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 Heath. hi Heath and, and hi Shauna. Yes, it has, and Shelly and Deb. <laughs> I feel like it's been weeks since I've seen Shauna too. I know. Maybe it she's does busy. feel like forever. Maybe she's busy. I just figured that maybe she was covered in crafts. Crafting. Like you just see an arm sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jackie was here, and then she... Uh, she'll be back. She said she'll be back. We'll see ya. Paula's <laughs> here. Hi, Paula. Hi, Paula. And Camille is here. Hi, Camille. And everyone's saying there's a lot of people here. How many people are here? 93. Yay. Wow. 93. <laughs> Marianne is here, and Sylvia. Hello, hello. Uh, it, it is Happy Groundhog Day. It is. <laughs> I love the just the silliness of the Groundhog Day. Yeah. I'm surprised he doesn't dress up. Bob says no shadow down here. I don't have a top hat. Yeah, you need one, I think. <laughs> I definitely need a top hat. Yeah. Sana, Sana loves the Groundhog Day movie. <laughs> yeah. Paula asked if the Groundhog saw his shadow. He did. He definitely did. I don't like that he did. Six more weeks. <laughs> Uh, he, hey. cel he celebrated Groundhog Day by yeah. eating some sausage. We did not. We did not. We have. should have done that. We didn't. Um, I believe you just passed up. Kelly is doing OMAD for February. Oh, well, good. Yes. There she is. <laughs> so we have somebody somebody doing it this month. I think there's a lot of people who do OMAD. I know. Yeah, uh, there are. I know really are. Semi retired Bob does OMAD, I believe, every day. Yeah. It's sometimes it's just really hard to eat enough in that one sitting so you're not starving come morning. Marbear says I can't do it. Oh man, it makes me feel very sick. Yeah. Well, I hope I don't feel that way. Yeah, me too. He'll be miserable to be around. <laughs> I'm going to finish whether I whether I complain all month. I'm going to finish, but I don't know. Uncle Big Guy said he's been OMAD for 2 years. That's pretty impressive. For sure. I'm sorry, I have to look. Um, James is checking his phone because Heath said, check your phone and show the pic on camera. Oh, I don't really know how to do that. But it says, happy Groundhog Day. Oh, and it looks like, it looks like he got a lot of meat on sale. <laughs> you know, I wish we had a HEB. I know. Or like we have Kroger. And I always hear people in Texas talk about HEB, and we yeah. don't have anything like that. I know. Paula says her goal is to water fast for the month. Wish me luck. I've been doing OMAD for three months, and I'm rarely hungry. Ooh. Water fast. I wonder if that, is that <sighs> I am like not sure I could do that. Alternate day water fasting? Or, or is it the full 30 days? I don't know. That would be really tough. There's no way I could do 30 days. And then Marianne says that last 10 years Phil has been wrong more than right yeah. I choose to believe we will have an early spring this year I sure hope you're right for sure that's a good idea heck with Phil <laughs> the heck with Phil <laughs> Shauna says I hope it works for you guys I can't eat enough in one sitting in front of OMAD I that's, get too mad yeah I think too mad is best for me but like I, I said, I'm going to try to be supportive I of think him it is and too. try to do it. But considering that I've been stalled for two months. Mm -hmm. But you are lifting weights. I am. You do need I am. But I wasn't in December. So I think if right. I didn't try something different, that would be like the definition of insanity. <laughs> if, if I just did the same thing and then... It was, expect the yeah, different at, results. Yeah, expect the scale to go down. Then that wouldn't, that wouldn't be very smart. Yeah. Taylor Ann is here. She says, Good Howdy. evening. Hi. I think she's new to our group. Thank you. Okay, so John likes OMAD. The only drawback for him 
is taking my lunch break at work and not having anything to do because I have nothing to eat. Yeah. Well, the good thing about that is, is I have mobile games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can play my phone game. <laughs> I don't get a lunch break. So I just, I just need to stay yeah. busy. So I work pretty much independent. Like I just go, I get like my job that I have to do and then I go do it. Right. Which means that I'm not like surrounded by a bunch of people that have lunch all at the same time. Yeah, me neither. Um, Derek works with me and he eats at the same time and that won't bother me, but... Rickman yeah. did two meals a day for years, went back to three meals a day to up my protein. Yeah. Well, luckily I was... I, I've never been able to eat a lot of food at one time, but mm -hmm. by the time my food was here tonight, I was ready to eat. Yeah. Kelly said she's doing OMAD carnivore. Paula says yes, 28 days, because oh, February wow. is only 28 days. Yeah. We might have to call and check on Paula. Yes. <laughs> About halfway through. Make sure you're okay. <laughs> Bob had two pounds of pork roast because it was yummy. I, I <laughs> cannot... I don't think I can eat two pounds of meat in one sitting. Sana says, James, are you doing a one or two hour eating window? I think I'm going to go with one. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with one. Just, just pound it. He's going with a half an hour. <laughs> half hour. Half hour eating window. <laughs> <sighs> Jackie says, make more than you think you'll eat, then add five slices of bacon. Okay. So what I did today is I had my Unwitch from Jimmy John's. And I had put it this afternoon when I knew that we were having that. I put it in the chronometer and it was definitely not enough protein and fat. So I had smoked bacon yesterday and had that in the refrigerator. So I knew I had that at home. So I went ahead and put that in the tracker and I thought if I eat my unwitch and I eat four slices of bacon, that's going to put me right where I want to be. I could only do three pieces. I was so stu I'm still stuffed. So stuffed, I could not eat another another piece. But it still put me right around 80 protein um, and 80 fat around there. And I feel like that's okay. Well, what do you if, think? If Paula can, I think if Paula can do a 28-day water fast, I can do 28 days of one meal a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I would never even... If someone says, hey, I bet you, you can't do a 28-day water fast, I'd be right. like, you win. Yeah. <laughs> so if I can get it as close to 100 protein. Jennifer says, OMAD works well for her. I did have to eat more than I wanted till I got used to it. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping my stomach shrinks down and it, it's a struggle. But right now, yeah. it wasn't, it's not, it hasn't, it wasn't yeah. a struggle tonight. Yeah. I could have ate more. <laughs> I know lots of people do, do OMAD, and maybe it's not easy for everybody at first, and maybe it does get easier. Carnivore, speaking of fasting, Carnivore Quest is here. Carnivore Quest is here. And Larry Hello. is attempting a 14-day fast. Yeah. That would be hard. That would really be hard for me. It would. So good luck to 14 you. 14 days, no food. <laughs> Nope. I can do the 24-hour fast, and I could probably do 48 or 36, but 14 days? No. Nope. <laughs> and Larry or Cassie says, miserable here in South Carolina. Uh, it must be cold it everywhere. It sounds like it's cold everywhere. <laughs> Taylor Ann says, I was cold all day, but loved the sunshine. The sun was out. You know what? I must have been busy today, because I didn't even realize that it was sunny and pretty <laughs> out. I just knew it, it was, was sunny. I just knew it was cold. Yeah. Hookah's here. She almost forgot Puka. us. Puka. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila Nichols is here. Hi, everyone. Hi, Sheila. Paula says, it's always blistering hot here in Arizona. Starting in March. I hate the heat. Oh, <sighs> I love the heat. Me too. I love it. Me I, too. I love the heat. <laughs> Nan Caitlin's here. Hi, Nan. You got behind again. And John says, I like Guggenhan. And James, you pronounced it perfectly. <laughs> Gloria Prater's here from Montana. I found that if I don't eat enough, I don't sleep well. I eat two meals a day. 
Yeah, I definitely sleep better if I eat enough. Oh, I'm going to sleep like a baby. I am so, <laughs> like, I'm stuffed. I'm not hurting stuff. I'm not, like, pre-keto going to the buffet stuffed. But you're pleasantly full. I don't, yes, <laughs> I'm good. And what's what's good is, is that by looking, I don't really like to track. He does not. I don't like tracking. But this is a good kind of tracking because it's not like, I'm not tracking to see if I ate too much. Right. I'm looking to see if I ate enough this time. And that's, so you like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be easier for you to track because you can just add on to mine. Shauna says, yes, I was at a four-day craft this last weekend and Friday oh. before that was important girls night with a couple friends. That's awesome. So she has been gone. She's That's been she's so been buried awesome. in crafts. That's awesome. Buried in crafts. <laughs> okay, Sherry wants to know when's the interview you do with Don coming out? I am Next still week. Yes. It, Shooting for Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. One <laughs> one of the hard things about doing interviews is trying to keep them trying to keep them short like not short short but not too long because people don't really we tend to talk a long time yeah we yeah talk a long time but <laughs> so when doing editing it's like you have to watch each thing like three times and right this video is over an hour yeah <laughs> so between my work schedule I've, I've got a big chunk of it done now it's just gonna find the right time right i think we could which john and mike if you're listening we love you well, yeah, it, it's so fun to interview someone. Yeah. But like when you're going back and you're editing and then you go back and edit and yeah. you edit and you edit, you're like, I'm so sick of hearing them talk. <laughs> Talking about ourselves. Yeah. It's like, it's like I've, heard, I've heard this thing four or five times <laughs> before it ever goes out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jackie has never seen Groundhog Day. Jackie. This is the perfect time. It is. <laughs> this oh, must no. be Larry. Larry's I'm hungry. Larry's hungry. <laughs> it's only day two. Right. That's how I'd be. <laughs> At the end of the first day, I'd be like, "Well, I gave it a good shot." <laughs> <laughs> oh. I gave it a good run. Right. <laughs> Bob said he has been OMAD since August. Yes, I knew he has. And yeah. You know, I don't know if it's That's awesome. I don't know if it's just because of OMAD. Mm-hmm. But I've heard Bob talk before, and he says that even losing like 125 pounds or whatever he's up to now, right? He has very minimal loose skin at all. Yeah, and it's supposed to be great for autophagy. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking the fasting. Yep. So autophagy. Yeah, at the end of the month, I might be like this. <laughs> it tighten my face. I, I'm, gonna look, I'm gonna look 20 years younger. <laughs> he hopes. <laughs> Jennifer Lucas says, toss the groundhog into some pumpkin sausage soup. <laughs> yeah. Hey, real quick. Um, I did add you to my scale where it tracks other than just your weight since you're lifting weights. So you should be able to see where your muscle is going up and your weight. How does that even, how does that even work? I know. He doesn't understand how it works. But I don't it understand is... how I can step on the scale. Yeah. And it know how much my body fat is. I don't get it. But so, you know, you'll have to stay on it to, to read everything <laughs> so we can track. <laughs> I finally gave in and added him in there. Dustin says that he's done 21 days of water fasting. Oh, wow. 21 days. I thought like only Jesus did that kind of stuff. Really? The 40 day thing? Yeah. I don't know if he had water. I'm sure he did. I don't think you can live 40 days without water. I don't, I'm not sure you can. <laughs> Glory lives in Montana, and we don't have near the stores that most states have. We just go hunting. Hey, even better. <laughs> he says water and element unflavored. Wow. Oh, wow. That's dedication. It is dedication. I don't know if I could drink unflavored. Right. Actually, I do. I have keto chow. I always do the keto chow drops. Yes. Uh, Taylor says the radio said they did used to eat the groundhog in the 1800s. Poor oh, guy. poor Phil. Now, so I've heard other things. I've heard that <laughs> when, if he saw his shadow, they ate him. Really? Yes, I heard that. And then I heard that if, maybe if he didn't see his shadow, they didn't eat him, but I don't know. I do know that they used to eat the groundhog after. Poor Phil. 
Yes. Was his name always Phil? I have no idea. <laughs> they probably changed it after they ate it. Stopped that. Marianne says, when I was in Austin for KetoCon last year, I went to HEB just to see what it was like. I was very impressed. <sighs> when we go to Texas, can we go? Well, if we drive, we can just take a cooler and take all the meat. Yeah. Hmm. We really should. <laughs> Bob's, what a good idea. That is a good idea. Take a 30 minute walk for a lunch break. Yes. <coughs> Cindy says, smiley. <laughs> I saw the video today of you making the blueberry pie keto chow muffin tops. Yes. They looked really good. They were so were they good. Jams? Yes. Yes, they were. <laughs> they were the best. They were worth burning my mouth for because them suckers, when I shoved that whole cookie in my mouth, that was hot. I could see the smoke coming out. <laughs> but it was worth it and I'd do it again. They were, yeah, so maybe, good. Maybe we'll have to make blueberry cookies before dinner tomorrow night. Yeah, they would have to be made before if you want them with it. Alan's awesome keto world's here. I usually don't make things like that except for on the weekends, though. Like, Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. <laughs> oh, Hookah says there's an HEB 30 minutes from me. It's not impressive at all. Really small. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Carnival 28 Quest days. Says 28 days. Yes. John says now that we move to Thursday, he gets... Ah, uh, yes. thank you, John. Two favorite channels back to back. Yes. If anyone didn't know. Yeah. Two just crazy, in case. Two Crazy Ketos does come on at 8.30. It's crazy talk. Everybody knows, right? <laughs> I know. But you never know. You never know. You never know if anyone... Right. It's possible. Pe people could be new. <laughs> yeah. Hi, cutest, Linda. The cutest groundhog joke today was a groundhog saying, I ain't nothing but a groundhog lying all the time. <laughs> I'm not going to sing that, but I wanted to. Right? <laughs> Shona said, do I hear 20 minutes? <laughs> Bob says his eating window was 15 minutes today. Yeah. Hi, Luz. Hi, Luz. I hope you're doing well. Yes. Yeah, Chantel. Too does, mad. Yep, can't eat enough in one meal. I have a feeling that I'm going to have that problem, but I'm going to try really hard. Really hard. <laughs> he... Got to start prepping for the Friday night feast. <laughs> Heath, it's Thursday. <laughs> it throws you off a little bit. It does. <laughs> it makes me feel like the weekend is that much closer, and it just makes it feel like a longer weekend for me. Look, who could ask Larry how the fasting's going? <laughs> he says, uh, ugh. <laughs> You, know, you I, can do it. You're going to do fine. You're going to do awesome for sure. That's a hard one. It really is, but I think he's got it. Uncle Big Guy did a four-day fast once. See, that sounds like an eternity. No, I think I could do four days. I could, too, if I was somewhere where there was I no... I couldn't make any kind of plans If there was with no anyone. food. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think when I was younger, I used to do that when, like, waiting on my paycheck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have a check. I was like, well, the kids got to eat. I guess I don't. <laughs> they can have the mac and cheese this week. <laughs> Paula says, H-E-B is an awesome store. It did not start out that way in the 1960s. I'm sure. Jonah, Jonah did, says, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Did, I, well, I can't read it all. Did, I did the 24-hour fast this week. This is week two. Went to my doctor appointment. Still in my stall since November. Uh, so I cut back on my fat. Ditch the sugar alcohol is my problem under eating. Um, I was just telling James this afternoon that um, I felt like maybe I shouldn't worry so much about the fat and just worry more about the protein. I don't know. I know a lot of people do the... Um, what is it called? The protein sparing? Yeah, protein sparing. Yeah. Modified fast. Yeah. Sana did a seven hour or seven day water fast, the most I've done. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Chantel did 72 hours, done that three times. That's awesome too, for sure. And this person says hi from the Netherlands. Hello. 
Say that name. F. Verheizen. Verheizen. <laughs> well, I, since I can't afford to go to the Netherlands, that would be awesome, though. It ha makes me happy to know that someone that we're in the Netherlands. I know. On the computer. That's so awesome. <laughs> I'm curious how many people have done the protein sparing. Mod is it protein sparing modified fast? Am I saying yep. it right? Okay. Yep. Um, I need to do more research on it. I think. Maybe just the day or two in. Right. Because I'm curious. Uh, Marianne says it's been in the '80s in Jacksonville. Awesome. That ends tonight when a uh, nor'easter blows in overnight. It, yeah, it's a it's a coming for sure. Linda has ate ground, I've ate, she's ate groundhog before. Delicious. Delicious. My grandma knew how to fix it up good. I would have to not know what it was that I, that I was eating. Because <laughs> I would just picture their cute little groundhog. Larry says it's going, struggling a bit now. I always do on day, day two, two and, and three. three. I would have, does it get easier after day three? It would be hard for me seeing like James cook dinner and eat if I was doing a, an extended fast like that. I think if you were doing an extended fast like that, I would, I think I would probably just go out until you're done. Would you? Yeah. Unwitches for the win. <laughs> I just eat unwitches every night. Right. I really think he's got it though. Paula says my longest fast so far far has been 90 hours. I had a hard time breaking the fast because I was not hungry and felt great. That's awesome. That is awesome. Jennifer Lucas did 11 days a couple times. Actually stopped out of boredom both times. Wow. Just bored. I think that's why I snack. I snack out of boredom. <laughs> uh, Bob lost 8.6 pounds during January on beef butter bacon That and is eggs. awesome. That is. Awesome. Uh, Dustin says you don't just jump into a week, you slowly build. 14, 14. hours, 18 hours, 24 hours, yes, and so and on. So on, so forth. Over the course of a couple years, no rush at all. No. Yes, everyone's saying that's great to Bob. Yes. Paula says, Em, I, yeah. put, I put my brisket recipe on your Facebook page today. I love brisket. Have you, did you see that post? Because I haven't yet. I have not yet. But then again, I've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> I, had my... to, I had to come in and get my hair cut, sh yeah. work out, shower, and eat all before. Yeah. It's all right. We will see it. We will look at it. Yes. And I feel like I love brisket more than James does. Because you know what? We have a brisket out in the freezer. We do have another one? Mm-hmm. Remember we had, yes, we have a brisket. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I sure hope you're right. <laughs> Jackie says James, or M. James is trying to get me to eat <laughs> wings one day on BBB&E. He's a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised, Jackie? <laughs> I, what I explained is, is if you're doing BBB&E for 90 days. Right. And you have wings one day at the meetup, mm -hmm. you're still 98.5%. Is that what you told her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't do it, Jackie. And then, and then she said no. And I was like, well, what if we just... Awesome. Go, what if we go to a... Uh, Brazilian a steakhouse. Brazilian steakhouse instead. <laughs> what if we don't eat at the meetup and then go to the Brazilian afterwards? <laughs> Alan says once a month, a 48-hour 48 48 fast is a good thing. I believe I could that. do 48. I do believe that. I think that I think that the fasting in the Bible was more than there was more to it. It wasn't for the autophagy or I, I think healing. It, I think it was for it was for health and healing, <laughs> but it was also for prayer too, so you have more right. time. So I think there's a lot more to fasting. Yeah. A quilter in the woods said, Are you a day early or am I late? We are you're You're right on time. You're not late. <laughs> <laughs> You're not late. <laughs> and and you no, know, last week we were a day early. Now we're we're on time. <laughs> I don't know what Jackie's talking about about the electricity through your body with no socks. I'm not sure. But we're gonna try to keep catching up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine plus. Right. Regina has tried groundhog before. 
Did I didn't you even know, know what you were eating when you had it. I, I couldn't know. Quarter in the Woods says, I would rather have a good ribeye than Phil. Yes. And I do believe that. I love ribeye. I Although I've really liked strip steak lately. I think the groundhogs are kind of cute. I don't know if I They're like adorable. Meat and I, for some reason, I, I don't think the groundhog meat would be... I don't know. They are fat, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shauna says, over the 137-year tradition is the 107th time Phil has seen his shadow. <laughs> how could he have kept predicting it if they ate him? And how old is he? How old is he? <laughs> well, some things are just magical, and you have to leave it at that and not look into it too much. <laughs> <laughs> JoJo's here. Yep, hi. says hi. Actually, she said hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, Jennifer says, didn't Phil die? I think we've had several Phil's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Speaking of Phil, I got a, 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 a Facebook... Ad? No, on Facebook News, or mm -hmm. one of the news, I seen that Dr. Phil, this is he's not coming back for another season. Speaking of Phil. Okay. <laughs> There'll be no more Dr. Phil show. Swelson's here. Hi, Stacy. Swelson is here. <laughs> Does anyone even... I, I'm guessing nobody watches Dr. Phil anymore if they're canceling yep. him. Go up. Marbear. The keto carnivore community is yes. the best. We have such loving people. Yes. Yes, we do. 100%. And when we started doing our lives, we had no idea what to talk about. And I told Emily, I was like, what do we got to lose? The worst thing that happens is we suck. And everyone can still chat amongst themselves. <laughs> it was just an hour, just another time slot to fill up so the community could talk. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what got us doing it. To, yeah. Right? Because we had no idea what to talk about. Right. He says, yes, it's Thursday. Hence the term prep. Right <laughs> in the promo to get everyone hyped Pe up. And pepped. A pep rally. He, it's a pep rally. John's longest fast was seven days. Wow. I give it to any... You know, I am so proud of you guys for these long fasts you because know, maybe one day I can get up there and, and do a long fast like that. I feel like a two-day fast would seem like an eternity. Like, yeah. I'm just not geared for that. Right. I'm not geared for that at all. <laughs> you Maybe you could, like Dustin said, if you worked yourself up to that. It might feel great, you know? Kelly's doing an 80-20 protein base on mm. 1,500 calories. I hear it's good for menopause to regulate hormones. Really? I'll have to remember that when I get there. <laughs> Jackie says, the closest thing to food prep I can do is making ground beef into burger patties and freezing them. That's a good thing to do. Sometimes when we find burger yeah. on sale for $1.99 a pound, which mm. it happens a few times a year still. Yeah, he comes home with lots of it. Yeah, I come home with like 60 pounds. And then I have to do work. And then we patty it <laughs> all up in the freezer. Yeah. Alan did the PSMF two summers ago and had great success. I want to look more into it and definitely give it a try. Well, you know, you could start out by... You could start out by doing it like one day. Right. And then the next week, See if, how if I you feel. like how you felt that day, then the next week you could throw it in two days. Right. But I hear not, you shouldn't really do more than a couple days a week. Yeah. Paula says the scales that measure fat do it by measuring resistance, impedance, impedance on your electrical output. Your <laughs> body fluid plays a role in the measurement. Wow. He's always like... And to think them things only cost like 30 bucks on Amazon. Right. And they're measuring my impotence. Yeah, but they have those full body suits that you can buy. <laughs> you can buy. Uh, the full body suits that you can buy. That would be really cool to have one of those. Alan says you do it every other day. So four yeah. keto day and, and three, three PSMF piece. days. Yes. And Quinn Wood says you only do it two to three days. I could do that. Right. We'll just do that on our chicken wing days. <laughs> we'll call it, that'll be wing day. And Rick went said yes. Um, when Maria Emmerich first started it, she said not full time, which we just watched a video yesterday that she did. And she was talking about that and how she was trying to add more fat. Yeah, add more fat to um, her because. If you hadn't watched that video, it was really heartfelt. Um, 
It, yeah, it was it was a couple videos ago. Yeah. It was like a seven minute video, and she. Kinda, it's a very short video, but she really. She talked about her struggles, I believe, her right. diet struggles. Yeah, and it was really. It just touched my heart. <laughs> Says, what's, what's this follow directions thing <laughs> Len says groundhogs only eat grass and clover and such vegetarians I can't see why they wouldn't be good yeah I, guess I mean they're not getting they would be grass fed groundhogs they're not grain fed right I couldn't imagine them not being good I agree with you 100% Lillian's from here from Canada just Hello, finished my Lillian. first extended fast 24 hours I was so hungry except when I was sleeping <laughs> Good job. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. I'm going to say storage. 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 <laughs> says, I did PSMF a long while ago, three days a week for a short period of time. Found that I was way less hungry through the day. Really? Really? I, I always See? hear that the high fat makes you less hungry. And that's an mm -hmm. interesting, interesting, I've never heard that before. <laughs> Bob says 48 is easy when on OMAD, just skip one meal. Yeah. That is a good thing. Yeah. I'm still not sold on it. It's very true. That's my one thing. That's my one thing. <laughs> not skipping it. Right. Jonna says after 24 hours, your body makes new stem cells. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Luz loves your hair. Thank you. This is my new wash hair day. <laughs> I'm really terrible. I know they say if you wash your hair every day that it's not good for your hair. I have a hard time not washing my hair every day. So I've been trying to do better with that. Look, Hookah even says, Smiley's hair does look really nice. Thank you. They all love your dirty hair. <laughs> Who would have thought dirty hair looks so good? <laughs> I think you can wash all the good, the oils out of your hair. Yes. You just that's, keep washing yeah. it and washing it. and. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie explained the scale too. The electricity through your muscles and bones and tissue. So for an accurate Isn't that read, so no weird? Socks. It's weird. I never even feel electric. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Twitch oh. Kit says, James, did you just fat shame the groundhog? You sure did. I did? You did. Why? Because they're fat? That's what you said. Well, when you look at them, that's what makes them so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they're chunky. <laughs> Fluffy. How do, how do they get? Fluffy. How do they get through the ground like that? It's it's almost like they're bigger than the hole they come out of. It's fluff. They're <laughs> fluffy. Jackie says James isn't loving. He's snarky. <laughs> I am loving. <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, he's he fast every single day. That's why the first meal is called break fast. Yes. <laughs> Dustin says, I remember my first couple 48 hour days were because I was going and doing things where eating on plan wasn't possible, like going to a concert or something like that. Yeah. That has I, to help. I get that. And that would, that would be the best way for me to fast like that. Mm -hmm. It would be accidentally. Not a boring weekend at home? No. <laughs> <laughs> no boring weekend. I, I would, I would definitely never be able to sit and relax Brain. if I was on a fast. Like we'd get the, I'd be painting. Be painting right. the house. <laughs> RV there yet. Says 115 uh, fabulous hi, keeps Dan watching and you Sammy. fine folks. I did not even know that 115 people. 112. Wow, we got that many subscribers. We're getting up there. <laughs> Paula had a, a mina bird when I lived in Hawaii as a kid. I'm guessing it's a mina bird. bird. I don't know what that is. I know. I want to look it up. But we sure love birds. We do. As a matter of fact, when I decided to do the OMAD, mm -hmm. I already had my lunch. And when I got oh. to this park that I was cleaning, there's always this crow that comes around. And he almost talks to me. Yeah. And he, was, he actually came down to one parking spot over, this big crow. Mm -hmm. And he was calling at me. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I was going to bring my, I had two burger patties. I was going to bring them back home and put them in the fridge. And then I thought, you know what? It's going to be like 12 hours that they're out of the fridge. Right. So I broke it apart and I fed the crow. 
Did it, it eat it? Crows like burger. <laughs> Took it and flew away. Yeah. And then I had to leave before, but. Right. I like to think that he came back and. Right. He'll be waiting on me next week. Yeah. RV there yet says, y'all are in Ohio. Anywhere near Sandusky by chance? No. We are at the opposite end of Ohio. We are in Southwest. Southwest Ohio. But we went to Sandusky. It's it's three. We went to Sandusky last year. In the spring. Mm -hmm. Are we going back? I don't know if they're doing that again. My work had a, a weekend truck driving championship at, um, what's that place called? It's a water park. Yeah, forget. There's a big water park up there. It's not Cedar Point. It's, no, it's a hotel water park. And I, I'm, I can't think of the name of it, but we spent the weekend up there mm -hmm. for a truck driving championship. Yes, Paula says we are closer to Cincy. We yes. are, we, yeah, we are between Dayton and Cincinnati. Right. Yeah. Pretty much so, smack yeah. dab between. Well, I can be in Dayton in 20 minutes and Cincinnati in 30. 45. Yeah, 35. Close to that. <laughs> Lynn says they do eat grains and corn too. Yes. Groundhogs. Okay. I'd imagine they just eat whatever they can. Yeah. Bob says washing hair daily is terrible. Just look at James. <laughs> oh no. That's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> Paula says the minor bird was not messy at all. He was a terrific pet. I think that birds are wonderful pets. Yeah. I love them. Other Noah he, cuddles with them, and it's the weirdest thing. He ki they kiss him. Yeah. Yeah. He's but it's so adorable. Yeah, he like holds them on his back and like tickles their belly and stuff, and they'll just sit there and look. They'll around. just lay there and look around. <laughs> but it's adorable. Uh, RV there yet says Carl over on Keto Naturopath. Has even more amazing PSMF info. Awesome channel to check out, I promise. We'll have to check that out. Keto, will you help me remember that? Yes. Okay. He's putting it in his phone, so I don't forget. You're texting me, aren't you? No. Oh, you're going to take a picture. I took a picture of the TV. Uh, <laughs> Merber said, Jackie's jinx. Are we having an Ohio meetup? Yes. Yes, there's one. On there's a, two. There's two. February 25th. Yep. And March 25th. Right? It I, is the I was hoping you would remember because... I, I believe they're both the 25th. Yep. And someone else already announced that. We are planning on going to both. Okay, thank you for sharing the information on it. Yes. Alan says, look into Maria Emmerich. Yeah. She's a mother of the PSMF. I have a seven-day meal plan. I can send you. I created. That would be awesome. Yes. It really would. I um, I follow some people on Instagram that, that have followed that program, and they really liked it. So I'm, I'm just piqued my interest to Len, find out more. Len says, interesting. I lost a lot of hair when I first started keto. It's not as oily and coming back in, it took 14 months. Wow. Wow. I really, Paula, correct me, not impotence, impede. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was just playing. <laughs> I wish my hair would just fall out. So I'm, you wouldn't have to mess I, with yeah, it. Yeah, so I wouldn't have to shave anymore. <laughs> or just let it grow. No. It's gray. <laughs> it's all gray. Marbear, I want you to go too. Yes, Indies is June 6th. So there's an, two Ohio and then one in June in Indianapolis. It can't be June 6th. We, what? Will, we will be on the cruise June 6th. And so will Jackie. So will Jackie. Jackie, that's not right. Can't be right, Jackie. What if she did schedule it for the 6th? Well, then we're not going. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dustin says, one thing I do when I'm doing a long extended fast is watching stuff like diners, drive-ins, and dives. How does that make sense, challenges. Justin? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Professor Toady says, I agree. Dr. Carl Goldkamp. Hi, Professor at Toady. Keto, at Keto Naturopath. I'm going to look him up. Now, ain't that something? We went... 
over, this long. over a year and a half. And I've not heard of them. Never heard of it. And now there's two people that says the name. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look them up. That's how it is. Yeah. Paula says electrical imp impedance, the rate of electrical flow. Yeah. May 6th is May, Indy. Yeah. See, that makes more mm. sense. Yes. Because I thought it was a week before. Yes. Or a month before. <laughs> but I wasn't sure. I didn't know if maybe they had to also. Right. Jackie told uh, Hookah that she should make a road trip for her birthday. Yes, that would be awesome. I Are we there yet? That. Says, ah, oh, gotcha. My ancestors founded the city. I'm Samantha Sandusky. No way. Wow. That's awesome. We know a celebrity. We do. We do, and her name's Samantha. Um, <laughs> awesome life. So Kalahari. Yep, yes, is, that's where we went. It is Kalahari. Yeah. Hookah hates driving long distances. James does, too. You know, my butt gets so but sore. But it would be fun. So sore. <laughs> Dev says, I lived in Middletown, Ohio for 21 <clears throat> years. Some of my family still do. That is very, very, very close yeah, to us. Yeah, we're five minutes away. Five, yeah. Five minutes away. Yeah. Um, now I know her name. Samantha was supposed to be a boy, which would have made me the seventh generation Samuel Arthur Sandusky, but I was a girl. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> that name just sounds rich. I know, right? Samuel Arthur Sandusky. It does. <laughs> Unlike me, Burns. Yep. I was named after a donkey. A producer. A donkey. There's a producer named James Burroughs. There is. It hmm. ain't me, though. No. <laughs> Dustin wanted to make a video at Jungle Gems. I've never been. I've never been. Talked about going for years and years. Well, let's go. Yep. We'll Sat go with you. Yep. Saturday. <sighs> What? It's so busy on Saturdays. <laughs> Regina is close to Athens, Ohio. Athens. That's a couple hours. Yeah. Roxanne likes that keto nat nature I'm path. totally going, yeah. I'm going to look them up. Taylor says, keto simple. Jungle Jones is my favorite. So worth a trip. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Let's go. We'll, we'll do our own, what do you call it? It's not a meetup because we're not eating meat. A, a shop up. I mean, we can eat meat. I think there's a Jimmy John's in the same parking lot. There is. Probably got to walk past the CC's to get to it. <laughs> That's all right. Paula says, I love going to Jungle Gyms. It's a destination. It's. It is. Sandra says, Great Wolf Lodge. Been there many times. I've uh, never been there. So the Great Wolf Lodge is down. We have one here. Near Kings Island. Yeah. But the one we did go to was Kalahari. Yeah. And But there might have been a Great Wolf Lodge up there. Right. Kalahari was huge. I mean, it was... It was. We were wore out walking through that place. It was nice. But then again, when we went to Quito Palooza, I we think... We walked a lot there, too. Yeah. Not counting... Not counting the, the, the actual walk, walk <laughs> that they did on Sunday. I think I walked... It was something, it was over 20 miles. It felt great. Just walking through the convention and stuff, like yeah. going back to our room because our room was on the opposite, at the opposite building. Yeah. I don't think it could have been further away. Yeah. <laughs> unless it was outside. Right. There was probably another hotel that would have been closer. <laughs> Semi-retired Bob. I'll be in Ohio March 27th until April 4th. All right, he's gonna. We're gonna have to save him a steak. I know. She so wants to know where in Ohio are the meetups. Okay, so the one in February, on the twenty fifth, mm -hmm. is in Westerville. Westerville, Ohio, and, which is up north. And then the one in March isn't very far from that either. They're it's just in, suburbs of Columbus. Right. I thought the one in March was in Columbus. It might be, but I would consider Westerville, Columbus, also. Right. And then we have, and then we have the June fourth through the eleventh. Cannot wait for that. I know. I'm thinking Lynn's going if she knows the dates. Yes, 
I hope you are. Oh no, Scott's late again. It's all right, Scott. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin says he finds new keto channels every week. Yeah, and this week I found um, carniv my, my my carnivorous carnivorous. No. Why am I not life? Or yeah, my or carnivorous me is that what it yes, is? Yes, carniv. Why can I not say that word? Carnivorous. Carnivorous me. Um, I've been binge watching some of her some of her videos if you've not checked her out in her journey, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Paula says mina birds are native to Hawaii. They are large black with red cheeks, very talkative and super smart. Oh, they make me think of the little uh, black birds at the bird farm. Yeah, I forget what them are called. Yeah. They were so sweet. Uh, and Carl's wife, Judy, has a keto cooking channel as well. Samantha Sandusky said that. Yes. <laughs> Jackie said, sorry, too many dates. Meet up February and March 25th, May 6th, crew, May 6th and then a cruise June 4th, mm -hmm. and I guess her birthday is June 8th. Right. Uh, Rick Wynn said, Emily, I watched the keto neuropath all the Nate. time. He has a lot of stuff on things. Nat okay, I... I have to really binge watch and watch things over and over because I have a really hard time retaining the information. I can watch it and understand it, but as far as retaining it, I almost have to rewatch it to remember or take notes. Um, I'm definitely a note taker type of person. Jennifer Lucas says that crow will be waiting for you with 150 of his closest friends. <laughs> and you know, to most people that would scare them. I love birds. Yeah. I would be in heaven if 150 crows came around me. Yeah. And I'm also one of the people who's a little superstitious. So I'm always like, what does it mean if 150 crows lands at you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely be a sign. Right. Yeah. Wilson's daughter graduates college uh, May 6th. Congratulations. That's awesome. Dustin says, I love to drive. We'll be driving from Indy to Orlando in late October to jealous. Disney World. I'm jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm going to go to Disney. We'll be recovering from the cruise still. Not in October. No, but we'll still be trying to save money. Hey, I already have a week off in October. You do? Yeah. We're not going. <laughs> I always take We're a week off. We're going to Palooza in October. Oh, yeah. That's why I took that week off. Jackie says, Dustin and I are carpooling. I wonder if we can do Buffalo Wild Wings, Brazilian, and Jungle Gyms. In one day? Absolutely. Ugh. <laughs> you pa might have to crash at our house. <laughs> Paula has a very talkative green-cheeked conure and parakeets. Oh, I love parakeets. Jonna says Jungle Gems was awful in Canada. I didn't know they oh, had wow. I didn't know they had a location in Canada. I didn't know. Never heard of that. Are we there yet? Says James Burroughs is also an author, an actor, and a Yale professor. Three separate fellas. <laughs> He's also a, a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> He's also a plumber and he did pretty good at losing weight. Right. <laughs> All right. Scott says, I finally figured out who James reminded me of. Isaac Toops. Look it up. <laughs> oh, he boy. reminds me of Gru. <laughs> I, she thinks I'm Gru from Despicable Me. <laughs> what is it? T-O-U-P-S. Marbear says, I'm only two hours away from Columbus. I'm excited now. Yay. I don't know who that is. But it's I a do chef. Kind of He's a chef? Yeah. Really? Yep. Huh. <laughs> Gerald's crying Jackie because says she wants up here with us. She'll be at both weather. Why don't you pick him up? Since he got a haircut, he's presentable now. His Come hair. Here, buddy. His hair looks good. Come here. Come, Come here. Come here. Here, you want me to get him? Uh, oh no, you can't get him. I feel like I'm gonna fall. <laughs> <coughs> there he is. Okay. He got a haircut and now he's cold. Yeah. It's been so hard to get him haircuts. It's like when you call the groomers around here, 
ever since 2020, when you call a groomer, they're like, oh, it's next two month. months out. Yeah, next month. And then it's like, right. well, who's got time for that? I'll call somewhere else. And then you call somewhere else and they say kind of the same thing. So then yeah. you just forget to make the appointment. And then it's like, dang it. <sighs> so he was way overdue for his little salon visit. Luz says carnivorous me is awesome. Yeah, she is. Um, and Robin says the wife's channel is Natural Path Kitchen. Yeah, I think this is scaring him being up here. You think he's scared? Yeah. All right. He's old. He'll there be, you go, buddy. He'll be 13. I don't know if we ever told the story of Joe. Um. I, I adopted him from the prison. <laughs> yeah. He, he was in jail because his owner died. He was seven. And his owner died and... He went to jail. <laughs> yeah. They were, they actually put him in a kill shelter. He was not good with people. He had whatever you call it. Like when his, he was, he was around one old person, like his whole life. So when they passed, he was not good with other people. So like, he was like vicious, I think. So this, I don't know. He ended up at the prison and once he got around like a hundred inmates all the time and got socialized, he turned into like the best dog in the world and he would, I, I would trust, I would trust him like with a baby. Like I know that dog would never hurt. He's so sweet. <laughs> so Dustin is trying to figure out Keto Palooza as well. When ah. Purdue says, did you ever watch the birds? I did when I was very small, yeah. very, very young. Um, Marbear's going to KPL. Right. <laughs> Brenda says, I like that na I'm natural I'm so glad you are going to KPL. It kitchen, was so fun. But can't watch the husband. Too many conflicting doctors. I feel that way too. And I hate to be this way, but there's a lot of channels, a lot of the bigger channels we have kind of limited our exposure to. It's not because I don't like them, but because, well, first off, I don't want to ever feel like I'm copying yeah. So like if we ever do something and somebody else did a video at the same time, it's not that we're copying. It's just that there's some, so many topics that there is on keto that you're bound to repeat. So right. I wanted our channel to be a little more original too. And I felt like if I watched everybody's channel uh -huh. that maybe I didn't want their channel to rub <laughs> off on our channel. I wanted to be original. So I have limited some of the, you know, I do watch watch them but there's certain topics yeah certain topics and things yeah. like that like like i just like to watch other people's like vlogs and things like that and i love watching people's journeys like that's the best thing ever because i love seeing not just scale victories but the non-scale victories that people have um it's just so amazing to me because when i started i started strict strictly because i wanted to lose weight and I didn't have some of the things that other people have, like the, the diabetes or the high blood pressure or, or other diseases. And so I didn't really think that I would have any kind of non-scale victory, I guess, when I started. I just thought, well, I'm going to be the same and hopefully lose some weight. But the non-scale victories that I have had just blew my mind. And to see other people have such big, huge victories, it's just... It's so flippin' amazing, and it makes me want to talk about this way of eating so much more to other people that don't eat this way, and I love sharing other people, you know, this person was able to completely reverse their diabetes or, um, re you know, no more gout and no more this or that, and it's just amazing. To no me. more tubes in their ears. No more tubes in their ears. Um, somebody just said something at work today where somebody was talking in the other room and he's like, Emily, I'm surprised you can hear them. Because a lot of times you can't hear. And I said, I know, right? I, I've been able to hear fine for over a year now. Since we started keto, she don't need tubes in her ears and she hears just fine. Yep. So it's just amazing. I love the, love to watch. Jackie says, oh, he don't look like Chewy anymore. He does not, but he still sounds like Chewy. And he's still, he's cuddly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ed says, looking forward to the weigh-in. Tomorrow. No. What? It's not tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's not Friday. <laughs> it's not Friday. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
Yes. <laughs> he, he definitely did hard time. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Lucas says, are you talking about Laura Keats? Yes. Yes. How did you know, Jennifer? I love those birds. Shauna lives close to the place they filmed the birds. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lisa loves the pup story. Yeah. He's our little prison puppy. Well, anyway, so mm -hmm. I've never been one that, like, I've, I've always thought that, like, like, I love birds and things like that, but I've always thought that dogs, they're just a lot of work. Like They're, they're a lot like uh, having a toddler. Yes. So I never wanted another dog. And, and so I mentioned this dog that they had at the prison because I was a corrections officer there and I walk in and the very first time I met this dog, he just like walked up and sat down next to me. <laughs> he just sat there and yeah. I was like, this thing's weird. <laughs> right. So like the next day I came in and he was there. He like seen me and ran up like we've been, I must look like, like they his, were best friends. I must look like his old owner. Yeah. And ever since then, so she found out that there was this dog that I liked. So Which she, was a big mistake because... So she calls and the next thing I know, the dog's coming over to, to see us at our house. Yeah. Because they wanted to make sure he would be fine with um, our Basset, mm -hmm. first off. And you know, for five or six years now, this dog still follows me everywhere I go and sits next to me. Yep. <laughs> and I'm not even that nice. <laughs> He's always like, move, Gerald. And Gerald just gets up and moves over just, just far enough where he can be right beside him. <laughs> Kelly says she's had her channel train. for seven years, was one of the original keto channels. Yay! There is a train. Sandra says our prison here in Canute, Ohio. Take dogs from APL and they have prisoners train them so yeah. they can be adopted. They turn out to be the best dogs. That's yes. exactly what he is. Yeah. That is exactly what he is. He, he really is. There's just something about, I don't know, you take a dog that's not very social and kind of, you know, mean a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you put them in a, in a housing unit that has a hundred people or, or more. Right. And they just change. Yeah. They, they, they're, they're not, not anxious anymore. They're not, you know. Mm -hmm. Cindy. You were lucky, Emily, not to have the issues. I was on blood pressure meds for more than 40 years, no more after a 100 pound loss. That is flipping amazing because the, to be on something for that long and then to change it and reverse it just from what you're eating, just your just everyday from, diet yep. is so amazing. And there's, I mean, there are times where I'm like, who am I to say anything about non scale victories because. Something like that is so incredible to me, you know. Um, my my ear thing to me seems so minute, you know. Mm -hmm. But I thing. love hearing about that though. It's That's so awesome. Thing. That eliminates a surgery every couple of years. I know. It, that, it, that it's huge. a big thing for me, but in com comparison, it just you know, it's Shana, just amazing. Shauna says, "Great, RSK responsible for everyone being a day off." <laughs> Everyone's a day off. Heath's already cooking. Yeah. <laughs> He's preparing for the Friday night feast. Yes. Emily thought it was Friday and yeah. then we were weighing in in the morning. I still might. <laughs> Paula loves dogs. He is adorable. She has five dogs and love them so much. They are carnivore also. And I make all their food twice That's a awesome. day. That's awesome. That is awesome. Twice a day. <laughs> Joe, hello. Pet Uber, take me to James' place. <laughs> yeah, when when she called, they they were called Joseph's Legacy. When she called them, I think they had to go pick up the dog at the prison. He wasn't prison. listed or anything. I said, listen, my husband works at the prison. Um, I heard you guys are the the foster program for him, and I need to ha I need this dog. <laughs> Blueberry so, train. Yes. John says train. Yeah. Sana said blueberry train. Yeah. <laughs> That's Saturday too. We can't forget that. And ja Jackie's apparently blind to the train now. She doesn't hear it. <laughs> You're blind. <Yes>. You're blind. <laughs> Kelly says food is medicine. It really is. And I totally agree because I had high high blood pressure. My blood pressure was always over the 140 and mm -hmm. almost 100, like 140 over 100. And now it's always like 120 over 70, Perfect. 75. I mean, even last week I had a couple days where I felt like I had a head cold going on 
And any time in the past, it would be instant ear infection, doctor visits. I mean, it was very minor, very minor head cold. Emily, anyone who's ever had an earache knows your non-skill victory is a big deal. Yes. It is. Earaches are horrible. Yep, Cindy says no more, no more surgeries for tubes. That is a huge victory. Regina Thank you, says Cindy. 75 down, hopefully 100 soon. Good job, that's awesome. Shauna says, wow, a jailbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Even he needs an autobiography. <laughs> yes. Jennifer Lucas says, my son went modified carnivore first of the year. By modified, he wants to drink with his friends. I thought that would never work. He lost 15 pounds. Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, even even if you continue to to drink and eliminate the carbs, right. it's still better than drinking with the carbs. Right. So that might work for a long time. Who knows? Yeah. That's awesome. Jackie says, all guys have to do is think about dieting and they lose 15 pounds. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be for you. It, well, I ate so bad I had no choice. <laughs> like, I literally ate so bad that anything I would have... I would have lost weight probably if I had eliminated one Twinkie. What? <laughs> if I had just eliminated one Twinkie a day, I'd have probably did better than I was. Right. <laughs> I was probably eating a box of them. Yeah. <laughs> I would sneak. <laughs> I would sneak and eat them. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Jackie says, it's all right. We lose inches and clothes sizes. That's right. The scale is not the tell all of your journey at all, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the scale's definitely not everything. Um, and, and speaking of not being everything, we need to measure because we haven't measured in two months. We haven't Wait, measured. No, we didn't. We did not measure last month. No. We need to measure, so that, Can we get the measuring suit? The measuring suit? Yeah. I don't think we can afford the measuring suit. <laughs> Yeah, Hookah says modified carnivore is better than not. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Kelly says, James, you you might lose on OMAD. I started yesterday and down a pound this morning. Wow. That, that's the goal, I hope. That is awesome. I hope. Because I'm literally three pounds away Yeah. from my first goal. Yeah. And I've been that for a long time. <laughs> so that's why I decided I want to do something different because I just needed to do something different. Yeah. Just shake things up for a minute. And I don't want to lose a whole lot. Like, if if I was at my goal weight, if I was three right. pounds down and I stayed the same while I was working, working yeah. out and doing everything, I would be totally fine with it. Right. But, I mean, you, again, yeah. you are lifting. I know. And muscle is going to weigh more than fat. And that's why I went ahead and added you to my scale. I just have a hard time thinking that and I've gained... Like, I figure I should have lost a couple pounds, and I have a hard time thinking that I've gained a couple pounds of muscle. Which right. Which could have been. Mm hmm But it's just hard to believe that. Right. It can be. Because we are our worst critics. We are. And, and like, why, even while I'm lifting, we I'm, all I'm, thinking, are, yeah. I'm thinking, I need to up my weights, I need to do more. Right. But it's good to have different goals that doesn't involve just the scale, you know? Jennifer says she fed lorikeets at the Indy Zoo. Others got I love two or three birds first on them to eat. About 50 were all over me. <laughs> You're trying to land on me. Finally, the keepers had to intervene. If you ever go to Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg, they have a place called Parrot Mountain. They do, and it's wonderful. And it is awesome. And they have a lorikeet uh, enclosed area where you can go in and feed them. Um... Yeah, it's funny how they stick their tongues out while they're eating. They're it's like a, like it's a cat, adorable. Like a cat. Yes. Uh, Ed Evans says, muscle weighs more. Absolutely. Regina yes. was a size 18 and that now a size 6. That is awesome. Congratulations. And Jackie is doing something bad. Yep. She's doing what we did and probably a lot of people do. Yeah. She says she's still avoiding the gym because of the scale. Yep. I I completely get you, Jackie. That's I did the same thing. I, yeah, I, didn't, I feel you for real. I didn't work out because there was a time about 2.50, I wanted to hurry up and, and start working out. And then I thought, well, what if I get stuck at 2.50? Because I just thought about like, oh, I need to get the weight off my heart and things like that. And then I'll work out. Right. 
The truth of the matter is when the scale stops, yeah, it doesn't matter even if you're down a lot closer. Yeah. It still hurts your feelings. <laughs> it does. So <laughs> it's like a mean bully. <laughs> I wish I would have started just with really light weights, maybe. That way my weight loss would have kept going. Can't go back now. I know. Well, I could. Don't do it. <laughs> I could, but I'm not gonna. Don't do it. How much more views would the channel get if once we hit our goal, no. we go back to where we were just to prove that we could do it again? Not funny. <laughs> no. We might, that, we might make the news for that. Th no. <laughs> Look at this stupid couple. <laughs> Purposely, yeah. <laughs> Ed, Ed says muscle can be a, can be quick to gain. Yeah. Yeah, but what's what's crazy about that is, is I hear everyone always talk about like how hard muscle is over forty to like that that you start losing muscle and that it's hard to gain muscle like when you get over forty and I'm forty five to think I gained a couple pounds of muscle in one month it just that would blow my mind. But then again, as much protein as I eat, I wouldn't doubt it either. All right, you guys. Um, 2KK comes on in 14 minutes. Yeah. And I need to tear this stuff down so we can sit down and watch. Yeah. But real quick, Linda says, James, maybe the exercise is causing some inflammation and is holding water weight. I don't doubt that. Yeah. So. That's all right. All right. Thank you guys for another wonderful live yes we, thank you for joining us yeah we appreciate you guys spend the spending evening, the evening with, us. with us so you guys will see you over at two crazy ketos yeah